Hey guys, Tyre here, so here we are with another True Lenses video, the series where we stick a camera in front of the lenses of our VR headsets to see which one you prefer, which one is the best. So in this video, we're gonna compare the headsets that are very famous for FOV and resolution. And yes, we're talking about the Pimax headsets because they were very present at CES and because uh, the latest headset is about to get released and is the 8K+, Plus, well, it was time to actually, as I promised before, to make a video with the true lenses for this one as well. Going through the specs, we have the 5K with a resolution 2560 by 1440 LCD display with RGB pixel arrangement, the 8K, the old one, the old model with a pentile display with a resolution of 3840 by 2160, so 4K, and the 8K Plus, the new, arrived with a resolution of 3840 by 2160 with an RGB pixel arrangement. So, where is the catch? Well, all of these headsets actually receive the same resolution from the computer that is gonna be 2560 by 1440, like a 5K Plus. So, that makes the comparison very interesting because we can see if native resolution, even on the lower resolution panel, is actually better than an upscale like Pimax does for these two headsets. Then in the future we're gonna have the 8KX that is gonna be the same resolution, so the same panel, but receiving a real 4K resolution for the PC, but I don't have it with me, so well, uh, we're gonna do it maybe in the future if ever it's gonna arrive. So maybe ask Pimax if they wanna send it over. That is gonna be the same panel, so the screen door effect that you see here on the 8K Plus is gonna be the same screen door effect that you're gonna see on the 8KX. But maybe we're gonna have some better clarity in the image. Well, I talked enough and here there's gonna be a poll so you can vote which one you prefer. And of course, I have to remind you that this is not a science. These lenses, these headsets are made for your eyes and not for the lenses of a camera. So take your own conclusion, see what you wanna see and I see you guys at the end of the comparison. I guess enjoy, see you guys later, enjoy.
video ever, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This was the comparison between the 5K Plus, the 8K Plus, and the 8K, the old model. You have to vote over here if you forgot, so we can see all together what are the results. And uh, well, what to say about this 8K Plus? I'm very impressed by the quality. I already said it during my first review that I did over here. And uh, well, I'm still being impressed. I recently went back to the 5K because I didn't have it with me for a while, also to try the 120 Hertz refresh rate. And I have to say that on that, it's also very interesting that we can push to that refresh rate. The 8K Plus right now is running on 90 Hertz because it just received an update. But if we go on the website, it's actually able to uh, get 210. I didn't have the opportunity to try it yet, so I can't tell you anything about it, but well, uh, this is something that probably is gonna arrive with a future update or with a model that you guys are gonna buy. Now, this is the 8K Plus. As you can see, it's already green and it's pretty nice. But what about the screen? Well, first of all, the screener effect is the least that I ever saw in a VR headset. And that's impressive because it's really, really hard to focus on it. Even the Valve Index that is very good because it has a little diffraction uh, for the two double lenses that they use. Uh, well, it's still a little worse than this one where brutal resolution is just pushed out uh, on these panels. And so the visual got much, much better. Now, the problem with Pimax is always the same. The lenses are the Pimax lenses. So if you're not used to the uh, kind of the distortion that they create, well, that could be a problem, but the visual quality in the middle, the visual quality of your games is gonna be just amazing for sure. And this for sure very recommended for all the simulators that there are out there, like DCS, for example. And like Danger is very nice with that because you can read all the text, of course, and many, many others. It's just very impressive so far. The colors also are pretty good, probably a little better than the 5K colors and for sure better than the old 8K colors and the brightness is a little better than the old 8K models, but it's still not super high. So I wish that it was a little brighter. Even if you have the settings to go on brightest, uh, well, it never gets super bright. But overall, you saw the results. It's very impressive. And uh, well, if I have to choose a Pimax for sure, I always choose this one. But the price of 999, well, of course, it's a little pricey, but if you already have your simulator stuff and they're usually pretty expensive and you want just the best visual possible, the 8K is for sure an option. 8K Plus is for sure an option. And uh, well, but with the 8K X coming out, probably it's better to look at that. I don't know. I'm gonna let you know when I'm gonna try it. Oh, and if you want to see the AK Plus compared to some other headsets, please let me know in the comment below if there are enough requests. Well, maybe I'm gonna consider to compare it with the Valve Index. If you're interested, let me know in the comment below. And as always, guys, if you liked the video, like. If you didn't like the video, dislike. Subscribe to the channel for more about VR tech. And I see you guys next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao.